Hi, this is Colleen Grotzer for InDesign Secrets. In this video, I'm going to talk about using alt text versus artifacting an image. Alt text is alternative text that we put on some images so that people that use screen readers know what that image is about. In this picture, let's say we have an article that's about dogs. Let's say we need to add alt text to this photo because it's important to understanding the content. And so we simply go to the image and select it and then right click it and select object export options. And then we click on alt text and then custom. So for example, we could say beagle running along a trail in Hawaii. Now that's for if you're entering text right there on the spot and you don't have it in Bridge. If you have alt text that you want to bring in from Bridge or Photoshop, the description field, then go back into Object Export Options, but instead select from XMP Description. Now here's an image, a background image that's decorative. So we want to go to Object Export Options and we're going to select Tagged PDF and then artifact because we don't want that image to have any alt text. We don't want it to be read by a screen reader because it's just decorative. It would be distracting if we did include alt text for that type of image. Now here's decorative icons. These are decorative because they're not required to understand the meaning. The headings next to each one already are descriptive. So when we go to object export options, we're going to artifact these as well. Now, if you want to, you can create a style that is just for artifacting objects, like artifacting images and icons and decorative elements. And just want to make sure that you turn off all of these other options so that, for instance, this orange fill for this icon doesn't get applied to something else that you apply this style to. You simply want to make sure that tagged PDF is set to artifact. And you can add that to any object style that you wish. So you could have an object style that's for icons, and then you can have another one that's photos that have a border and text wrap, for example. You could alternatively set an object style to have alt text and to have that filled in automatically by the meta description field. So that is how you would add alt text or artifact different types of images. Thanks for watching this video, and if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine.